What's up guys, welcome to the next episode of the Crack a Pack series. Today we are opening up another one of my favorite sets, Planar Chaos. Uh, this was a set where basically they mixed things up and printed cards out of color for them. And so, uh, for instance, Manitive is up there as the white force spike, which seems really odd. Uh, additionally, there's Damnation, which I think is actually at the top of the value list, sitting around $30, $32, uh, which is basically a Black Wrath of God. Uh, as far as value goes, there's also Urborg, which is pretty good. And then in the common slot, at like six or seven bucks right now, is Simeon Spirit Guide, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, but hopefully we pull something interesting in there. Obviously with Simeon Spear Guide at common, we have a decent shot. Uh, so we'll see what we get. Our first common is White Mane Lion, Midnight Charm, Saltfield Recluse, Synchronous Sliver. There obviously were slivers in this set, which were awesome. Uh, Needle Peak Spider, uh, Reality Acid, Blight Speaker, Evolution Charm, Seal of Primordium, this actually sees some play in Modern, uh, Bog Serpent, Wrathy Trapper, and our first uncommon is Rift Marked Knight, uh, Venerian Glimmer, Harmonize, this is an, a good example of a card that draws cards, but it's in green. Uh, again, sort of showing off the theme of the set. And then our rare, uh, Chronozoa. This is not a card that I know very well, so it's a 3-3 three, three for 3 and a blue. It's an illusion. Uh, it has flying and vanishing three, so this permanent comes into play with three time counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter from it. When the last is removed, you have to sacrifice it. Uh, so the vanishing was, I do remember, a fairly prevalent mechanic in this uh, set, which was interesting. You could get a lot of value out of cards, but only for a few turns, if that makes sense. So, uh, Also, when it's put into the graveyard from play, if it had no time counters on it, put two tokens into play that are copies of it. So this is actually really interesting because when it theoretically when it dies you just get more of them uh, which makes it harder and harder to deal with basically you're asking your opponent to deal with the first one or you're going to lose like that's the idea basically uh, an interesting card in showing off the vanishing mechanic pretty well uh, and how it's sort of incorporated into the set not necessarily super playable uh, I think it would be fun in a kitchen table kind of casual format where you're just kind of having fun with friends and want to try something new But outside of that, I can't really see this having any uh, playable factors uh, Unfortunately because there are quite a few really interesting cards in this set So not exactly what we were hoping to find. It's no damnation But definitely showing off the set pretty well and hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode If you did make sure to leave a like or a comment down below uh, if you really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. We've got a lot of content coming at you every single week, including three of these, plus a card spotlight video, plus a podcast video, uh, all of which you will get notifications on if you click that little bell. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next Crack-A-Back video.